When times get tough, do you ever wish you could just push that reset button and just start all over again? It's We've all thought it. Flush, right? Yeah. yeah. We've all thought about it and wish we could do it from time to time. But be careful what you wish for because scientists are now working to make these wishes a reality. It may sound like something out of a science fiction film. But believe it or not, scientists are working on implanting microchips into human brains to delete memories. Prototypes for the chip are allegedly being tested on epilepsy patients in hospitals with good results. But the creator hopes to one day expand this chip, not just for the sick, but for the healthy population where users could remove experiences and get this, buy new ones. The chip is predicted to be as common as cell phones in the future. Are you ready? I don't, very, very. I don't think our audience wants to get chipped anytime soon. Well, right? and, and FYI, <laughs> Kernel is the firm responsible for developing this. They hope the device will be used to help those with degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's one day. Mm -hmm. So there is a medical bent to this because it could be not only erasing memories, but maybe helping people remember. You know, there, there's a lot of potential here, a lot of potential for misuse I think as there's well. more misuse potential than there is benefit because You're right. I agree. <laughs> I have two major concerns here. One is, we're already a country in which we oftentimes try to go to avoidance coping when things are wrong. This is why we have a substance abuse epidemic right now because right. that is an avoidance coping strategy. So this is sort of like, hey, I don't like what happened. Boom, delete. I don't like that boyfriend. Right. Go on. Boom, delete. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know we all wish we could do it, but this is this is really really crazy because the second concern is that really at this point we are human beings who evolve from learning. If every time you're resetting that mistakes. chip. From our mistakes. From our mistakes, it helps us to learn to deal with problems in the future. So it's almost like you go right back to when you're an infant again. You have to learn everything over. That really well, could really Yeah, because they, they talk about it that maybe there is a use to try to eliminate those bad thoughts. PTSD bad sure. memories, bad divorce, rape memory, whatever. trauma. This whole area of functional brain surgery, whether it be a chip, whether it be brain stimulation. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is an area that is evolving at a crazy rate. I remember when, when Neil Martin, the neurosurgeon, was on, he said, just wait, Drew, the time is coming. We're gonna control so many of these behaviors, obesity. Right. For example, he said, we're gonna control it all through the brain. Well, what worries he, me he's, he's probably right. is that the neural circuitry is so complex. Oh, so yeah. if you yes. delete a memory, what pathways did you just delete? Exactly. Are you going to remember critical things about yourself and your decision making for the future? And, right. and, and funny things, like what if you're like, I'm gonna sue you for what you did. What'd I do, huh? Right. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, and, and think about the excuses that'll happen and just like your general run-of-the-mill arguments with your spouse or loved one. What? I never did that. I this don't know. This is Westworld-esque, <laughs> you know, with all exactly. the, the, someone in a control room somewhere controlling your memories, controlling your thoughts. It's creepy. This, this is very creepy. I think you have to be very <laughs> careful with this technology and make sure if it is used, that it is used strictly for medical purposes. Because I do like the idea of if you could somehow take a patient with Alzheimer's who no longer recognizes their children, if you could somehow use a microchip in the brain to help them remember, that would be a boon. That would be a very good use of technology. downloading what is there, the memory, and then you put the chip in with that download so that you do better with a degenerative process like Alzheimer's. That's a cool idea. Yeah.